Here in Australia, there are heaps of things that will bite, sting, eat or crush you. So, here's the World Nomad's quick guide to not getting bitten, stung, eaten or crushed. Let's start off with snakes. Australia has the top 10 most venomous snakes in the world, including the Taipan. One drop of its venom, if divided evenly, would kill 200 men. So, should you be afraid of Australia's dangerous snakes? We went to the Featherdale Wildlife Park in Sydney to get some answers. So what should you do if you encounter a snake in the wild? It's very cliche, but remain calm. They're not going to waste any energy chasing you if they don't feel like they're threatened, or they're not going to actually replace that energy by feeding. So just kind of turn around and walk the other way. Okay, what do you do if you have been bitten? So there's first aid um, where you've got to get a compression bandage and just kind of wrap the whole limb, stay as calm as you can, and then get to a hospital so you can get anti-venom straight away. But if you are bleeding from the ears, the eyes and the nose, don't just have a beer and relax. Yeah, no, definitely not. Go to the hospital. <laughs> Snakes are one thing, but at least you can see them coming. What about spiders? Australia has some of the worst. The nastiest of them all is the Sydney funnel web spider. This guy is like a tarantula in beast mode, and its venom is particularly effective on primates. If you get bit, within minutes you'll be spasming and vomiting and your brain will be swelling, which isn't as much fun as it sounds. And you can be dead within the hour. But since 1981, no one's died. That's when the anti-venom was brought in. So what should you do if you get bitten by a spider? Don't wipe off the venom, so that way they can kind of check which kind it is. But yeah, just wrapping it up, keeping it immobilised and keeping yourself as still as possible so you don't kind of pump it around a bit more. But there's not an anti-venom for everything that can bite you in Australia, like saltwater crocs. If you're going up north, you'll want to avoid crocs. These guys are monsters. They can get up to 800 kilos. Mostly they get you when you swim where you shouldn't. Aussie crocs have the strongest bite measured on any animal ever. They might even rival the T-Rex. The big ones bite with 3,000 kilos of pressure. That's like being run over by a truck with pointy tyres. But unless you go swimming in the Northern Territory, you're probably going to be okay. So sharks, they're pretty scary, right? And every year, a few surfers do get chomped. But you know what? If you come to Australia and go swimming a few times, you've got more chance of killing yourself taking a selfie. But don't take my word for it. Here's some sound shark advice from World Nomad's travel safety expert, Phil Sylvester. Very unlikely to actually encounter one if you're a regular swimmer, especially if you're coming to a patrolled beach where they've got the flags up. If you swim between the flags, you've got lifesavers who are looking over the beach. If they see anything, they're going to sound off the shark alarm. Uh, and uh, you may be panicking a bit because you've been reading about a lot of shark attacks in Australia recently, but all of those guys uh, who've been attacked are surfers. There's not people who are swimming in the shallows between the flags on a patrol beach. They're surfers. They're wearing dark wetsuits. They look like a seal on a plate. OK, so what's number one on our list of five dangerous animals? Well, look, we lied to you. There's heaps more than five. In the ocean, there's the box jellyfish and sea snakes. On the shoreline, there's cone snails, stonefish and the blue ringed octopus. In the desert, there's massive camels. In the bush, there's dingoes and vicious boxing kangaroos. There's snappy goannas, kiki cassowaries, stingy blue bottles, angry water dragons, lightning quick emus, snarling wild boars, screeching feral cats, and of course, the terribly violent drop bears. So, you're probably starting to get the picture. There's a lot of crazy dangerous animals, but really people can live their whole lives in Australia without ever seeing a snake, funnel web, croc, shark or redback. Will you see one? Well, I guess you'll have to come visit to find out. OK, so that's a wrap for Australia's dangerous animals. If you need more information, uh, get the Australia Survival Guide from World Nomads and you can get that just by clicking right here. Have you clicked yet? You're going to need to click. Come on, you're gonna need it, it's awesome. Do you really think you can survive without it?